From healthcare to education to advertising, data is helping businesses innovate to new heights. A key challenge is not just how to find data, but how to make it useful. Data scientists and data engineers often need to build data pipelines to ingest, process, and analyze their data. These ETL and ELT type workflows usually involve multiple services that need to be coordinated and executed at the right time and under the right conditions. In our previous video, we learned about how orchestration is the automation, management, and coordination of workflows. In this video, we'll focus on how you can orchestrate your data workflows in Google Cloud using Cloud Composer. This is where Cloud Composer, Google Cloud's fully managed orchestration service comes into play. You can use Composer to create, schedule, and monitor end-to-end -end workflows using Python. Composer is built on the open source Apache Airflow project, which has a huge community of contributors and users. And since it's a fully managed service, you don't have to worry about managing Airflow deployments. Composer takes care of infrastructure management for you, so you can focus on actually building your data pipelines. Composer supports many different use cases, but most of its users are data engineers who are building workflows to orchestrate their data pipelines. There are several key advantages that Composer has for the data workflows use case. First, the Airflow project has hundreds of operators and sensors you can use. These make it easy to communicate across multiple cloud environments with very little code. In addition to Google Cloud operators, there are multiple operators for other common interfaces like MySQL and Slack. Second, Composer has sophisticated task management. You can parallelize and branch tasks and define how you want to handle failure. For example, you could send out an email to the team if something goes wrong along the way. And third, keeping track of your workflows is straightforward with Composer's built-in monitoring. All of this is important as your workflows scale and become more complex. And finally, Composer comes with enterprise-ready security features like customer-managed encryption keys and VPC service control support, enabling organizations to use it right away without worrying about security compliance. It's important to note that Composer is not designed to transform, process, or pass along large amounts of data. Instead, Composer is great for managing and coordinating tasks delegated to other products that handle your data. Some products you might want to coordinate using Composer include BigQuery, Dataflow, Dataproc, and Datafusion. These are all great at operating directly on big data. Let's take a look at an example use case of how Composer can be used to orchestrate a big data pipeline. Composer tasks are defined in the form of a Python-directed acyclic graph, or DAG. First, we monitor a cloud storage bucket and trigger the pipeline as soon as the file appears. Then, we kick off a cloud data flow pipeline. Next, we execute a BigQuery SQL job to validate the process data. And finally, we delete the object from the cloud storage bucket since we no longer need it. Along the way, if anything goes wrong, a Slack notification can be sent to team members. And there you have it. Data orchestration is becoming increasingly important for data engineers and developers to manage their tasks and services. By having Composer orchestrate workflows on their behalf, data engineers can focus their efforts on the more creative aspects of data engineering. Make sure to check out the next video in our series, where we'll learn more about how to build workflows in Cloud Composer.